nine times out of ten, a lot of truth is rough. It's hard. It's harsh. You know, it, it's, 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 it's hurtful. It's painful. So therefore, you lie to a person to soften the blow, or or to to, to to make them not feel a blow at all. That's this is Isaiah chapter 28, verse 15. Because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death, mm -hmm. and with hell are we at agreement. Mm -hmm. and, that's, and that's what a lot of Jake is saying right now. Okay? Uh, uh, subliminally, man. Because, uh, I mean, I don't think there's too many Jake's out here, too many Jake out here that's in the line, in the beaches with death. But when you, when, when you, when you, that when, 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 a, when a man of the Lord tells you these things which you are worshiping are false gods, all right? And you out here saying, I, I'm still gonna do it for the kids, okay? You 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 are you are uh, uh, putting yourself in a, an allegiance with death, man. When the overflowing scourge shall pass, scourge shall pass, mm -hmm. it shall not come unto us. That's right. So, so they're saying, all right, I agree with you. I'm still going to celebrate these holidays and, be, and but the Lord knows my heart and I also agree that that, that these nuclear missiles is coming but they ain't going to hurt me though because the Lord knows my heart. Go ahead. But well, we have made lies our refuge mm -hmm. and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. Because they have made lies their refuge. What, what is the chief lie that a lot of Jake likes to, likes to say, man? One, the Lord knows my heart and I'm saved. Jake already, Jake already think they saved. They took a dip in some of that, in some of that uh, sewage water in the, in, the, in, the, in the back of the pool pit, and, 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 and it was almost drowned by the preacher for about two seconds. Come about it, come about smelling like some smelling like outside water. All right, and feel like they have been saved, man. But that's that was a lie. That was that's a lie. To to, 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 to our, chiefly our people, that by taking a, taking a dip in this water that you will be baptized and you will be saved. All right? And that's what, and that's, and that's, they, and that's they shelter. That's what they run to. They like to hear those lies. I, I feel like you got a question. Uh, I'm trying to get this right, what I want to ask. So are you saying being baptized, you know what I'm saying, isn't a good thing or what? Well, baptized, being baptized is the best thing that, that could possibly happen to a person. So let's, but, but, but what is baptized? Okay, first and foremost, that word baptized in the New Testament is the, is the word baptiz, baptizo, which means to be engulfed, to be submerged, okay? And if you know, and if, if we was going into, if we was here when we was going into the fountain of living water, okay? When, you, when you're being engulfed in a submerged, you're being submerged in the, the holy water, the, the, the living water, which is these scriptures, right? This is your baptism. You are being baptized right here as we speak. That's right. That's right. Okay? Hold on. We'll yeah. go order. This is uh, Psalms 119 and 9. Where wither shall a young man cleanse his way? Where, where wither shall a young man cleanse his way? Okay, you got a, you got a lot of our young men out there that are, that are going to these churches to get baptized because they feel because of the doctrine that was that's been implemented in those churches. Okay, they believe that baptized is 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 how John baptized, John the Baptist baptized in in the River of Jordan, right? But what did what did John what, what did uh, uh, John the Baptist say? There is one who I am not worthy to baptized and after he is who's paraphrasing after he has been baptized by, by by John there will be no need for baptizing because everybody else is going to be baptized by fire that's right which is the word that's right Go ahead. where will the shall a young man cleanse his way mm -hmm. so I take so, right, so the question is where how how is a man supposed to clean his body how is a man supposed to clean himself if he wants to be a man of the Lord right so the question that you're asking where by taking heed thereunto according to thy word. By taking heed according thereto by thy word. So by under, by listening to the words of Yahweh by Shemel Shah, which is the scriptures. So you're being baptized right now. Yeah, even um, like when you go into church, I don't know if you've ever been, or any of y'all brothers, 
ever been baptized in church where they literally dump you in the water. But I know me myself, when I came out that water, I smoked the blood that night. You know what I'm saying? Now, reason why I went into that subject, because when you're baptized with this Holy Spirit and this word, you're being reborn as a child is reborn to come out of the water. You know what I'm saying? And you don't want to go back to the world because you know what's going to happen. You want to stay in these scriptures. You want to continue to learn. That's being baptized in this Holy Spirit. You have fear of the Heavenly Father that you don't want to go back to that stuff in the world. Back then in that water in the church, they used like, oh, cool, huh? And then you went back to doing whatever the heck you was doing. You know, but this is the true baptism like the brothers are going into. Sure. Well, another, another point to that is, you know, just like the old saying, Rome wasn't built overnight. All right? So you, so even, even even when you first came into the church, it was back. Even when you first came into the church, it was baptized, but you were still trying to get yourself from doing those things that you used to do. But hold, the, the, the fact of you getting this, <laughs> this truth is the baptism. You understand it, you not only understanding it, getting the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, but you live in according to it, okay? In, in truth and sincerity, okay? That's the, the fullness of the baptism, man. That's right. Okay? Because even, even Yahweh Shai said, after, it was when it was when Yahweh Shai was on the cross, he said that my baptism was complete. So you're going to go through, you're going to have to go through the, 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 the chastisement and the refinement as well, man. Also a part of the baptism, go ahead. This is a uh, First Peter slot. This is this is First Peter chapter three verse twenty one. The light figure, whereunto even baptism doth also now save us not us uh, so like save us, not the putting away of filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward the Most High by the resurrection of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. That's right. So it's not it's not. It's not about, it's not just about keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, man. That's a part of it, but it's about, it's about retaining this, this, this word, man. That's right. And living it, man, to the best of your abilities. That's, that's how, that's how you become baptized. It's in your conscience, as the scriptures say right there. You know, you're, you're conscious of what you're supposed to be doing and what you ain't supposed to be doing once you're baptized. You know, right. like the brother mentioned, right. Rome wasn't built in a day, so you are going to go through trial and error because we are in the flesh like the scriptures talk about. Right. Absolutely, the chains of darkness, but we have conscience to it. Yahweh Shai Mashiach who reconciled us of our sins, you know, through the baptism of his word, you know what I'm saying, which is right here, That's right. in order to do good. That's right. That's right. That's right. This is Hebrews chapter 10, verse 22. Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience mm -hmm. and our bodies washed with pure water. That's right. That, that's right. You're drawing near to the water, man. Okay? And the water is the word, the scriptures, the spirit, the living water, man. And that's, again, that's how you, that's how you be a renewed. It's, it's, it's not about, you know, because the scriptures also say uh, uh, it is not the things that a man... Uh, uh, the things that come or go into a man's body is the things that come out that defile him. Okay, so so your spirit is what's is what's is what's being cleansed. Okay, so you're not so by by by. Or and there was another one, slack. That's that's the one I really wanted. Where it said when when they said uh, when the Pharisees and the Sadducees was talking about how the prophets didn't wash their hands before before they ate. The scriptures that said it's you know it's not it's well yeah, how Shai said it's not about uh, uh, you clean it you have to basically use it, paraphrase it but somebody can get it from I got you. Yeah. Don't wanna, but it's not what goes in a man that defiles him it's what comes out it's what comes out of him yeah. okay uh, yeah, there's a uh, John chapter 7 verse 38 he that believeth on me as the scripture has said out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. That's right. So he that believes on Yahweh Shai, out of his belly shall flow rivers of, of living water. So how can those rivers of living water get into you? You have to learn this word. Because the, the living water is the word. So you have to have the, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to give the, the, the living water. Right? So, like we were going into earlier, uh, Jeremiah chapter 2, you know, it said that we have forsaken the, the, the sisters of living water, you know. Yeah. And this is, you know, this is the, uh, they, they like in the scriptures, that's, that's the living water too. That's right. 
but this big key of the Spirit, which they that believed on Him, should receive. But the Holy Ghost was not yet given because that Yahweh was not yet glorified. Uh, but this big key of the Spirit, which they have believed on Him, should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given because that Yahweh was not yet glorified. That's right. Let's start that over. Maybe we'll turn this around. But this big key of the Spirit, which they have believed on Him, should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given because that Yahweh was not yet glorified. That's right. That's pretty much talking about the Scriptures themselves, man. How, how, the, men of the, how the men of the Lord were looking towards the Scriptures. As, as the comforter even before Yahweh Shai came from. But he's going to, but again, Yahweh Shai had to bring back the comfort, had to leave the comfort. Okay, he, he if, you, if you notice the, that Yahweh Shai came in the volume of the book, so he was the whole world anyway. God, brother, that's right. We got that one. All right, I'm gonna start at, uh, I'm gonna start at Matthew chapter 15. I'm gonna start at the top. Then came to um, Yahawashai scribes and Pharisees, which were of Jerusalem, saying, Why do thy disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. Right. So, you know, a lot of men, they, they, are, they, they are men pleasers. Okay? They worship, they worship each other. All right? And, and, and out, of, out of worshiping each other, they keep customs. All right? But... But Yahweh Shai had came to, 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 to break down those strongholds of those customs, man. Uh, All right? So his, so his apostles also came in the manner of Yahweh Shai, man. All right? Yeah. So, 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 the, so the manner of Yahweh Shai was, again, to break down those customs and, and, and to, 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 to show that uh, Yahweh Shai was the way. Go ahead. And it said the traditions of, of elders, which is men. You know, they weren't talking about the Heavenly Father. They was like, why do you break the commandment of the traditions of the elders, which shows the mindset that the scribes and the Pharisees had, That's like right. the brother went into. That's right. All right. Verse 3. But he answered and said unto them, why do ye also transgress the commandments of the Most High by your traditions? Right. So they, so, so they threw one out here and they threw a shot back. Man, cut. You know? Okay, you want to tell me why you, you want to tell me about tradition, but, but it ain't no such thing as tradition. Okay, it's only it's only the will of our heavenly Father, Yahweh, who is under who is who, who, who is who, who you can only get to through the media, who is Yahweh Shah. Right. Okay. Right. Now I'm gonna jump down to verse 16. This is the point where the brother was talking about. And Yahweh Shai said, "Are ye also yet without understanding? Mm -hmm. Do not ye yet understand that whatsoever entereth into the mouth goeth into the belly, mm -hmm. and is cast into the drought." Right. So what goes into a man, what goes, what goes into a man, it goes into his, you know, digestion. That's right. Okay, go ahead. Verse 18. But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth out of the heart. That's right. And they def and they defile the man. That's right. So the things that you the things that you learn and you regurgitate is what can is what can be the the, 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 the salvation of your life or the death of your life. Okay. I'm gonna say something real quick. That's why the scriptures go into the tongue. And the tongue, the, the scriptures talk about a tongue is a is a fire. You know, a world of that's what you got? Hey, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. Hey. Come on, come on, brother. This is uh James chapter 3, verse 5. Even so the tongue is a little member. The tongue is a little member out of all of our members, it's the smallest member that we have. Yes, And boasted great things. Mm -hmm. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindleth. Okay, start that from the top of the right here. James chapter 3, verse 5. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasted great things. That's right. The tongue, the tongue is a little member, but it boasted great things, man. Okay? So, out of your mouth is a thing. Wars happen from, from people's speech. That's right. Okay? Wrong, wrong perceptions happen from people's speech. You get the, the right interpretation or the wrong interpretation. A person's knowledge comes from comes, comes from what a person says. Man. That's right. Okay, that's where his story came from. Came from what he what he thought. He regurgitated the, the, the story from his point of view. 
Wait. Behold how great a matter a little fire kindleth. Behold how great the, uh, a matter is when 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 some something small is said, right? You know? Something as small as that nigga wicked. That can go into a multitude of things, you know? Without 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 even going into detail, you point you point a dude out and say you're wicked. That can go that can go that can go that can go into a multitude of things. Alright? Because because it's because a person's words can be can be so simple yet so complex at the same time. Go ahead. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity, man. It causes destruction, man. Alright? Especially, especially to, to two-thirds of our people. To our people, period. Alright? Because, because again, even pertaining to the scriptures, the scriptures is life. Alright? But a little leaven left you at the whole lump. Alright? You could have broke down the scriptures eloquently to a T. But then when it came to the book of Jude, you just totally fumbled. Now the whole doctrine has been perverted. Okay. So the tongue amongst our uh, and the tongue is a fire or wood of iniquity. So is the tongue among, amongst our members that it defileth the whole body. That's right. So 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 therefore so therefore you got you got people spewing uh, 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 these these uh, false prophets spewing wicked doctrine. All right. So their body, okay, obviously a lot of, a lot of, and this is pertaining to a lot of the, 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 the Jake that are of the circumcision, man, that are in these different camps outside of GMS, man. Okay, they all have fruit. They all have, they all have uh, 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 followers and, and things of that nature. All right, but what does it say? It says that there shall be a fire on their own members. All right. So not only is the is the tongue killing itself, but it's also killing the the, the, the body, man. It's killing this killing their their own people, man. This is Matthew chapter three, verse ten. And now also the ask the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Mm -hmm. Therefore every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit mm -hmm. is hewn down and cast into the fire. That's right. So so again the axe. Who is the axe? The axe is is. The scriptures, which is, which is ultimately is Yahweh by Shemel Shai, okay? And then you got these other camps, which are trees, or these, these heads of these camps, which is the root of the tree. Yahweh by Shemel Shai is cutting it down from the root, all right? And, 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 and it is getting the, the tree and its fruit back. Go ahead. Is that it? Oh, there's more on oh, this other one. And for every kind of beast and of birds, for every kind of beast and of birds and of serpents and things in the sea is tamed, I have been tamed of mankind, but the tongue can no man tame. That's right. So everything, everything, everything is in decency and in order on this earth, but the, the tongue is just reckless, man. And that goes, and that goes for everybody in the world. Okay, that's that's where discernment has to come in, and that's the, and that's where the difference between men and the Lord. Men and the Lord know when they need to be corrected. All right, men of the Lord know when they slip, you know? So repentance is at hand for the, for the elect, but as, but as for the, the two-thirds and for the rest of the world, man, <coughs> it's, 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 it's deadly, man. Just reckless. People, you got people just saying nonsense all day long, you know? To their own fault, to their own hurt, all right? You, you ever see you ever see a woman with a black eye? I can guarantee it's because she was out there talking reckless. All right. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. It's an unruly evil, man. It's so unruly that the, that the, that that it, a lot of times people speak before they think. Okay, that's unruly. <laughs> your tongue is un is is not. It can't be ruled by by your own brainwaves. Just, just one minute, and you're saying something totally out of pocket, and then five minutes later, you walking down the street like, damn, I should not say that. What made me just say that? Because the tongue is so goddamn unruly, man. Just like a woman, just like a woman. 
Yeah, that's beautiful that you even brought up with a woman. Because even like we're going into with the tongue, you look at the condition that our people is in right now. All the transgressions that we've done, all the stuff that we've said is because all stuff that we, the situation we're in pretty much is what we said out of our mouths. We went to worship other gods and look at us now. Talked against the Heavenly Father, now look at the condition that we're in right now. That's what the Lord compares us as women too. Just like women run their mouth, that's what our nation did. Just like women run their mouth, went to different gods, complained about our God, complained about what Moses was doing, complained about everything holy, and now look at us, just by a slip of the tongue. This is Hosea chapter two, verse five. For their mother hath played the harlot. She that conceived them hath done shamefully. Yeah. And when it's talking about our mother, it's talking about our ancestors, you know? She that conceived them have done shamefully. Yeah. For she said out of the tongue, I will go after my lover and give, my, so like, and give me my bread and my water, my wool and my flax, my oil and my drink. That's pertaining to Israel again, our the the our our, our, our ancestors, our, our, the ancient ones, going going into, into the, uh, the philosophies and the doctrines of these other nations, man. Looking for comfort in these other nations. Okay. Therefore, behold, I will hedge up thy way with throne with thorns, Salaki, and make a well and make a wall that she shall not find her paths. Yep. So the other heathen, the, the heathen nations are saying, all right, you're going to come to us. Okay, so we're going to make it to where you can't find your way back to your how about Shem Yahushua, which, and which, and which ultimately happened. And this is, and this is, and it's going, and it's going on to this day. Okay. Even, because we are the, we are the, 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 the children of, of, the, of the ancient world, man. Okay. Which is, which, which, is being is, is, which which have been indoctrinated and, and continue to follow the customs. Okay. This is Second Ezra chapter two, verse five. As for me, O Father, I call upon thee for a witness over the mother of these children, right. which would not keep my covenant. That's right, and that's the elect. Okay, the elect is 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 uh, being, being disobedient to this world, man. Okay, being disobedient to the Lord, to the Lord's mother. Okay, and what are they going to do to be disobedient to the world? They're going to call upon you. How about you now? Go ahead. Verse six: That thou bring them to confusion. That thou bring them to confusion. Okay, and now in the world it has been brought to confusion, man. All right, and, and the men of the Lord, they 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 love the way that this is turning out. Man. All right, because because this is all according to prophecy, man. <coughs> the heathen are supposed to be dismayed at the stars. Two thirds of Jacob is, is going to be uh, uh, riled up because they feel like they're entitled to something. Okay, everything. But at the same time, they're all in confusion because because if everybody was in their proper state of mind, they would understand who their power is. Whether you are, whether you are of Israel or you are of, of, of the heathen, man. There's only one God. All right, but this is this needs to be played out because of prophecy. That thou bring them to confusion, and their mother to a spoil, that there may be no offspring in them. That's right. So, so yes, we all, we, we want the the, the the heathen and two thirds of our own people to be uh, in this confusion, man, so that they can so that they, they can no longer uh, <clears throat> bring forth fruit, man, so they can no longer bring forth. Uh, 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 these monsters, okay? The scriptures say uh, a menstruous woman shall breed for the monsters, man. That's twofold, okay? That mother can, is, is, is also the doctrine, man. Okay, that breeds for these monsters, man. Go ahead. Verse seven, let them be scattered abroad among the heathen. Yep. Let their names be put out of the earth for they have despised my covenant. That's right. So this that also goes into why uh, why why certain certain men or chiefly GMS be out here scoffing and laughing at these uh, other at these other camps right. that be uh, <clears throat> that be getting caught up, man. Because because we want you to be scattered amongst the heathen, man. We want you.
want you to find your calamity, man. That's right. Because you are a part of the prophecy, man. Two thirds and, and the rest were blinded, man. That's right. Okay? If you're not getting it, then you were blinded, man. And, that, and it was meant for you to be a part of the two thirds club. Yeah. All right? So we want you to serve your purpose well. We want you to continue to be scattered amongst the people. We want you to continue to be in these in these different uh, philosophies, in these different uh, ideologies and things of that nature, man. Because you're serving your purpose in the, in the, in the will of the Heavenly Father. That's right. Even I'm mindful of bringing, you know, we've been going on that one. That's beautiful that the brother's bringing this out. And ultimately, like, where, where this stem from is, is out of the mouth. Out of the mouth, all the wickedness began. All these people talking to mess about the men of the Lord, saying, you ain't supposed to do this, you ain't supposed to do that. And we ultimately read the scripture in Matthew, the 15th chapter, where it went into the scribes and the Pharisees. That was the mother that this was talking about, their fathers, pretty much. Their forefathers who broke the covenant, despised the covenant, and protruded out of their mouth wickedness. Again, that's why we in this situation that we in right now, you know? So I like to bring this one out a lot, you know, just because it tells it shows you that uh, the Most High has, had uh, put you up above the nations. You know, He considered you, you to be as an olive tree. The olive trees are known to be, you know, one of the, of the mightiest, you know, in, in, the, in their category. But, uh, this is Jeremiah chapter.